Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, this morning I was going through all the news feeds trying to find a story. And uh, as usual, one, one story stuck out. And I'm never sure what I'm going to talk about. Like, I'll look through a variety of stories on all different platforms. And I'll get up and I'll start going about my morning routine, showering, shaving. And there's always going to be one story that sticks in my head as I'm going about my routine. And by the time I'm finished making my bed and showering and shaving everything about an hour later, you know, I, I know I'm going to talk about this story. That's how I go about doing this. And this is, this, this is what I'm going to talk about today. It's Donald Trump, and he's down in Mar-a-Lago. I'm not exactly sure when this occurred. I'm assuming it was just this last weekend. Uh, this is a clip from Twitter, and I'll have the link. Like I said, the link's right down below. He's on a golf cart. And I, to me, this demonstrates what kind of person Donald Trump is. When I saw this clip, the, the things, what, what comes to mind is absolute power corrupts absolutely. If you ever heard that phrase, absolute power corrupts absolutely, I think that's probably sums up, that's one of the thoughts that comes to my mind. All right, let me let me describe this clip for you. Again, the clip's right down below so you can watch it yourselves. Like I said, it's from X. And Donald Trump is in his golf cart. He's wearing a jacket. So I'm assuming it's probably around this time of year. It looks kind of chilly there. And he, he, you could hear people talking about his golf game or whatever. And then you hear Donald Trump say, Ooh, look at her, look at her hair. And he's talking about this. There's a little black girl on the course and she's got a full head of thick, curly, beautiful hair. And he pulls up on the golf cart. It's just him on the golf cart. And you watch his body language. And he, he, I mean, I hate to say this, but if you watch his body language, it looks like he's pulling up on a street corner in a car and he's leaning out the window. And he's like, hey, baby, you know, like, how much? And that's, I, I mean, I hate to say that, but that's, that's the first thing that, that's what it looks to me when I, when I watch this clip. But that's not even the worst of it for me. And he, he says to her, he says, yo, you have such beautiful hair. I'll give you millions for your hair. Could I buy your hair? Uh, I'm kind of, it's, I don't know if that's verbatim what he says, but he, he offers her millions to buy her hair this little black girl on his course and uh there's several things that just struck me about this to me it says what kind it's alarming to me because it says what kind of man he is the biggest thing that sticks out to me like i said it is he how he assumes that he is the all-powerful that he knows that he has so much money like you see him hanging around with elon trump elon trump has the most is the richest man did you, did you ever write out write out the number Write out the number 300 billion. Write it out. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's 12 zeros, a three and 12 zeros. And look at how much mo ungodly money that is. And people like Donald Trump, you know, and he pulls up. And the first thing he thinks about is how he could own something. He sees something that, <laughs> let's assume that he's being honest here and he thinks that She's beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. I, 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 have my, I, I have my doubts about that, but I'll get into that in a second. And his first thing is he could buy people. He, you know, he assumes that he's above everybody else, and he has enough money and power to own anything in his vision. You know, everything is his for the, you know, he has the money to buy. And he can own anything he wants, including people, including people's souls, and pe including people's bodies. That's what occurs. It, it's, it's scary to me the way he looks at this. Um, okay, the second thing that occurs to me, when he say this, the way he looks at her, now I thought I, I usually use empathy, you know, what if so, what if somebody said that to him, okay, look at your hair, you know, Don, Mr. Trump, you have beautiful hair, can I buy your hair? What if there's another rich guy or rich woman saying that to him, you know, he's, the way he looks at her, what if it was a white woman or a white girl, a little white girl with beautiful hair sitting there? Would he say that to her? Would he say, oh, you have such beautiful hair. Can I buy your hair? I don't think so. I think he, he would say, oh, my gosh, you're such a beautiful little girl. You're so beautiful. Because he would see her as beautiful. When he, I think when he looks at this little black girl, 
he looks and he, he's <laughs> look this is the truth I, I hear the way MAGA people talk around me I hear the way Trump supporters talk when they're in their homes when they're when they think they're alone with all other white people and I hear the way they talk and they, they are not in general I'd say 95 percent of the MAGA people that I'm around have very racist ugly views of people of color the way I, I hear them talk you know, and the way they talk when it's just you're, they're in a group of white people is a whole different thing. And I don't think he's looking her as beautiful. You know, he's, he sees her hair and to him that's unusual and beautiful, but he doesn't see her as beautiful. You know, the, judging from what I've heard MAGA people say before, you know, about Michelle Obama, about Oprah Winfrey, about other people of color, you know, they don't see black women as beautiful. You know, if it was a little white girl, he'd say, oh, my gosh, you're such a beautiful little girl. But he looks at this little black girl and he comments on her hair because I don't think he sees her as a beautiful little girl. He just sees her hair as unusual and beautiful in that aspect. And that, that's my opinion. All right. This is another thing, too. He, 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 he him and a lot of the mega crowd put looks above everything else, looks above intelligence, looks above uh, character, you know, the way if either men or women, that men are handsome or, or, or women, women are, especially women though, you know, women are judged for their, their intelligence or anything else. They're they're in the MAGA world, in Donald Trump's world, women are judged solely on their looks and their beauty. You look at anybody that he's, he's gotten for his cabinet, the women that he's, he's hired for his cabinet and, you know, and they're all breathtaking blondes. You know, again, I, I, I think the, I think the, it, it says a lot in just him, him offering millions of dollars to buy a little black girl's hair. To me, honestly, I just, I think it's appalling and I think it's scary, you know, and honestly, if I was a black person that voted for Donald Trump, I, I would really start having my doubts right now. I, I would. I'm not a black person. I'm part Native American, you know, but if I was, I, I really I really question if I voted for the right person. Those are my thoughts on this. All right. Let me know what you think. The clip's down below. Have a good Monday.